Hello and welcome to this video. Today we will explore animal cells. So join us in exploring this microscopic city. Cells are found everywhere in your body and will vary according to the location they are found in. For example, cells found in the brain are different to cells found in the stomach. The study of cells is called cell biology or cytology. Most plants and animal cells are only visible using a microscope with dimensions between 1 and 100 micrometers. In this video, you will learn the generalized structure of the cell. Also, to help you understand the cell better, I will compare it to a modern city. So let's take a journey through Cell City. We begin our journey with the border of the city and it is called the plasma membrane. It is selectively permeable. This means that it only lets certain molecules enter and exit the cell. The plasma membrane is mainly composed of phospholipids which are made up of two fatty acids and a glycerol head. Then we travel to the controller of the city, the nucleus. The nucleus is only found in eukaryotic cells and this video focuses on this type of cell. The nucleus is made up of different parts. The nuclear envelope could be compared to a mayor's office while the nucleolus is the actual mayor. Also, inside the nucleus is DNA and they are found tightly wrapped in the form of chromosomes. DNA are sets of instructions for the mayor to build and maintain this city. This is because in cells, DNA are needed to produce proteins. Next, we move slightly away from the nucleus into the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is the council building in this city. The ribosomes are the council workers in this building and carry out instructions sent by the mayor. In reality, this means the nucleus sends mRNA to the ribosomes which make the complementary proteins. Next up are the essential factories that help run the city and they are called the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They produce lipids and hormones which are needed by the cell to function properly. Additionally, they also detoxify harmful materials as well. In every city, there is a postal office and in cell city, there is the Golgi apparatus. Interestingly, this is the only cell organelle named after a scientist. It was named after Camelio Golgi, an Italian biologist who discovered the organelle. The Golgi apparatus packages and delivers proteins that the ribosome made. Golgi vesicles could be imagined as the postal workers of this city. The next stop of our tour of cell city is the vacuum. This is the city storage. Not only does it store resources needed for the city, but it also stores waste produced by the city. Now, you may wonder what powers this city. The answer is mitochondria. These are the power plants of the city and produce energy needed to run this. City. The energy these power plants make is called ATP. Every city needs protection and in cell city it is the role of the lysosome to provide it. There are the police of the city and make sure no harmful pathogen threaten the safety of cell cities. The actual surface the city is built on is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm keeps every part of the cell separate and provides additional storage space. An important feature of a city is transport and the microtubules are the highways of cell city. They are needed to transfer resources around the city in a quick and efficient way. Alright, you have just finished the tour of cell city. Hope it was enjoyable and now you will leave the city on a secretory vesicle. These vesicles are how materials leave the cell and travel to other cells or out of the body. Thank you for joining 
on this journey of exploring an animal self. Make sure you like and subscribe. Remember, knowledge is power.